Racing games have gotten stale. I mean, sure, we have Forza, Gran Turismo, Mario Kart, and even Need for Speed is back in the race. <laughs> Get it? But with an exception to maybe Nintendo, most modern AAA racing games are the same. You have realistic looking vehicles driving realistically on realistic terrain with realistic speeds. But what if I want more. What if I want to race in a car that's not on wheels, but floating using state-of-the-art anti-gravitational technology at ludicrous speeds? What about Wipeout and F-Zero? Oh, oh, okay. Not to worry! R8 Games comes to the rescue with Pacer, formerly known as Formula Fusion back in its crowdfunding days. Pacer has been delayed a couple of times now, with people previously complaining about the small map pool, which has been significantly upgraded, but we'll get to that later. Pacer is fast-paced, living up to its name, with vehicles regularly traveling at over 600 km per hour. Just like Wipeout, you can control an anti-grav vehicle that can also be equipped with weapons. Unlike its spiritual predecessor though, you equip weapons before the race begins. They're not just random pickups. Instead, pickups in Pacer are shields and weapon toggles, which allow you to use your ability or weapon once. Not only is your objective to finish the race first, but also to survive. But you actually respawn every time you die, so not really. Controls are responsive, but when you're traveling at these kind of speeds, you sometimes need to make a turn before you're in it, just like in Wipeout. Pacer is difficult for newcomers and has a steep learning curve. There are four difficulty settings, F3000, F2000, F1000, and Elite. Similar to the 150, 200, 250 CC cups in Mario Kart. F3000 is difficult enough for me, with my shields depleting not due to enemy weapons, but often due to my reckless driving. However. Once you get the hang of it, successfully making a turn by utilizing your air brakes is so satisfying. Wipeout fans will feel at home with these controls, that's all I gotta say. Pacer has 14 unique tracks, each with different variations, mirrored, reversed, and night or day. These variations are all purchasable through credits, along with everything else in the game, including modifications and weapons. R8 Games says they will be updating the game constantly with new content, vowing not to make the game pay to win. Concerning customization, you can choose out of five different forms for your vehicle, and also change the paint color and other stuff as well. You can also modify the performance of your automobile, changing its internal components. Weapons also have specific upgrades and modifications that you can unlock using credits. Pacer has an offline single player campaign, along with online multiplayer. But here's the issue. I couldn't seem to get the multiplayer to work at all. Uh, nothing works, including matchmaking, unfortunately. I don't know if this is just an issue on my end or on the devs, but at the time this review was recorded, I couldn't get a single online match. Updates to this situation will be posted on the written review on GBATemp.net, so be sure to check that out. Pacer runs on Unreal Engine 4 with great visuals and detailed environments. Easily the best looking anti-grav racing game out there. It's also scored by Tim Wright, also known as Cold Storage, who has worked on previous Wipeout titles. So if you enjoyed the high BPM electronic soundtrack of those games, you will feel at home here. Overall, Pacer does deliver on what it promised. Being a current gen anti-grav racer with good graphics a spectacular soundtrack and great controls without taking itself too seriously. Wipeout and F Zero fans should rejoice. Their favorite genre is back in business. If you want more details about Pacer, check out the full review on gbtemp.net.